Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be covering some features you can utilize with the new checkbox in the insert tab of Excel. During today's video, I'll show you both how by clicking the checkbox, you can conditionally format a cell as you see with the project column, but you can also add the current date and time based on your checkbox. If you don't see the checkbox feature in your Excel yet, check out my video link in the description for how to add it in Microsoft Excel 365. Let's jump in. It's very simple to add the new checkboxes from the insert tab. You can select the cell you wanna add a checkbox to and simply click the checkbox button. From there, you can drag the cell down to additional cells where you'd like a checkbox to be located. You could also simply highlight all the cells where you want a checkbox and then click the checkbox button and they'll be added to your spreadsheet. Notice in the formula bar, Excel already links the cell beneath the checkbox as a true or false statement. So if I click this checkbox, you'll notice in the formula bar, the statement changes to true. We can utilize this for both the conditional formatting and the time entry. To conditionally format your cells when you select a checkbox, highlight the cells that you wanna conditionally format. In this case for me, it's the project column. On the home tab, go to conditional formatting and select new rule, and then select the bottom option to enter a formula. In the formula bar, you can select the first cell with a checkbox and notice that Excel creates an absolute reference here for cell A3. Since we want to carry this function down, we want to remove the dollar sign in front of the number three so that we'll stay in column A, but Excel will carry the formula down to row four, five, six, etc. correctly. Now that we have what we need in the formula bar, we can format our cell. After clicking format, I want to strike through to occur, so I'll check mark that box. Then I can go to the fill tab at the top and choose this light green color. I'll select OK and then OK again. Now after clicking one of the checkboxes, you'll notice my project cell gets highlighted in green and there's a strike through the project name. And this will work for both cells. If I uncheck the box, the formatting is removed. Now let's take a look at how to insert the current date and time when you select the checkbox. Now that I've entered the correct formula into this cell, let's take a look at how this function works. We start off with the if function, where the logical test is whether or not cell A3 is equal to the value of true. For the value of true, we have a nested if function where the logical test here is whether or not our cell C3, which is the project completion date, contains any data. For the value if true, meaning that cell C3 does contain data, we just want Excel to return that same value. For the value of false, meaning cell C3 doesn't yet contain any data, we put in the now function to return the current date and time. And then for the value of false for the original if function, we'll tell Excel to just return blank so that when I uncheck the box, the date and time disappears. I'll press enter to insert this function. In order to get this function to work, there's one additional step we need to take. Head to the File tab and select Options. Now go to the Formulas tab and enable Iterative Calculation. Afterwards, click OK. And now when I select the checkbox for Training, you can see the completion date and time has been entered. Team, I hope you enjoyed these career tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.